It was this is hard pass, Kyle. Oh, this yeah. is hard pass. That's I'm going to give it up. All right. So, mm-hmm. Big Dog Shaq was on Angel Reese pod. Yeah. Shout out to Shaq. Unapologetically Angel. And, uh, yeah, they had, you know, I think it was probably about a 40-minute conversation. I'm not sure. But mm-hmm. I know the biggest takeaway was... The 30 seconds about Shaq talking about what the WNBA can do to improve, uh, you know, viewership and, and bring more people to bring more eyes to it. And, you know, as far as like making it more entertaining. Yeah. So I got this little clip right here. Let's do it. And you don't, don't, don't strike this from the tape, Christian. We ain't striking it. Don't, don't, don't. I'm telling you, you just lower like that to where it gives your ability to dunk. Bro, imagine you. In I'm not same, imagining. Oh, let me finish. Imagine you in the same little shirt you had on at the Wild and Out show, dunking. You know how many t-shirts you're going to sell, Curtis? You tripping. Oh, my what? God. <laughs> what? Oh the same little shirt you had on. Okay. All right. All right. You, all right. Dunking. All right. All right. All right. Bro, bitch. <laughs> and you. Don't, don't, don't strike right. this from the table. Shaka, tear that thing up. <laughs> so the biggest uh, thing that you know most people was uh he was facing backlashes. I think what Shaq like what fifty holes Shaq is. He probably fifty two, fifty three, something like that. Boom. Yeah, fifty two. You called it right shout on out the head. To, shout out to Shaq. But yeah, and Angel Reese is what uh she twenty two years old. Yeah, so you know basically Angel Reese is. Shaq is old enough to be Andrew Reese's dad, or that's a fact. That's a fact. Some may even say granddad, depending on the age some yeah. people have kids at. Mm-hmm. And yeah, so you know, people was making a big deal about it. Mm-hmm. They was making a big deal about it, and but in my, from my view, I just saw. Sh- you know how you bring when you was younger, you bring your girlfriend over for Thanksgiving. And you yeah. got that one uncle that's like, hey, nephew. Yeah, where you find that one at, nephew? Yeah. Hey, she got a little wagon on that. Yeah, that's, yeah. And that's, you know, that's kind of what I saw. But yeah. at the same time, she was she did seem like she was uncomfortable in the moment. She did. She did, yeah. And, yeah. It's yeah. like Shaq, I guess he never really had to read the room like that. Yeah. And so he was really like, what? What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The second what is what? Yeah, you All right, Shaq. Smoke. All right, so you really don't get. It. <laughs> He's in there. What? <laughs> mm. <laughs> but yeah, so I I thought that was interesting, and yeah. I uh, really would like to hear your take on it. I don't see nothing wrong with what Shaq said. Um, you got people Shaq age dating girls. Leonardo DiCaprio. Age. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Leonardo so, DiCaprio, once you uh, hit 25, you're too old for him. He gone. Yeah. And he, uh, I think he like 50 something too. Let's see. Shout out to uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. That's my, one of my favorite actors. He probably Can't top, top right three. Up. He top three. 49. 49. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. He like his around 18, 19, 20 up in there somewhere. But the, the, the crazy thing about it is most entertainers, mm-hmm. they. Typically mess around with girls between twenty twenty five. Yeah, I want to say if you twenty eight, you just made it. Like you, yeah, lucky. So I mean, I I don't know. Uh, I mean, I don't I don't see nothing wrong with what Shaq said. Yeah, and yeah. let me say this right, it, mm-hmm. it's not the age thing that big of age gap. I to me that's not really important. I mean, what he said was the outfit that she wore on Wild and Out. Mm-hmm. It's like he wouldn't have said that about somebody like Candace Owens. Yeah, get what I'm saying? Yeah, if she was you know fully dressed and, and, and carrying herself like a uh, lady. Shaq wouldn't have said that to her face. True, right? True. So I feel like she's getting back what she put out. That's true because that was where I was about to go with it next is. When she was back at LSU, mm-hmm. she was crying on the uh, stage talking about, I've been sexualized and all mm-hmm. kind of... And then, the more she go forward, is the more sexualization she put out. Yeah, that's and a fact. I'm a big Angel Reese fan. I gotta say, man, it's been going backwards lately. God dang. When she went on the little rant about um how the WNBA 
ain't even enough for her oh, to pay yeah. her rent. That was ignorant to me. Yeah, and I was just, and then she started like joking around, talking about, I said, oh, I'm living above my means. I was just yeah. like, come on, man. You're supposed to be my favorite yeah. player, man. And you sitting up here acting like a. Say it. A Say person it. that is might, you know, just be not understand the cultural stuff. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you used to it. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, I think I might be jumping off the bandwagon. There you now, go. Man. There you go. Richard is going to be so happy there to hear that. Go. But I just can't stay behind somebody like that. You know what I'm saying? Like when Iverson was ignorant, at least it had looked cool. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid. No, I feel like like Iverson. I can't say Iverson was ignorant. Iverson was who he is, and he no no owned no. up to it. That's my and, point. Yeah. That's my point. But it, it it looked cool though, is what I'm saying. Because I'm I think Angel was being who she is, but it ain't wavy, man. It's not at all. When I no, she's not. You, you no no talk no. Talk about it. Talk about it. Iverson was from the streets. Mm-hmm. He dressed and he act the part. True. Right. Whenever people ask him why he's like that, he would say, "This is how I grew, you know, grew, grew up." up yeah, yeah. Angel Reese, she was saying she was upset about her being sexualized, mm-hmm. and then a- after True. that day, she—that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So Iverson was unapolo- un- 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 unapologetically Iverson, yeah. And she, I, I don't feel like she. It, Oh, you see what you just did? There? Yeah, I know. Hey, you <laughs> I ain't even catch it but till yeah, it was late. I, 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 I don't. I, I don't agree. I don't agree. I don't agree. I feel you, man. Cause she put on outfit. She put on the outfit, mm-hmm. and then Shaq talked about the outfit. Yeah. Now yeah. she's uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. You put on the outfit. Yeah. Get well. what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. And in her defense, she didn't put on the outfit for people like Shaq to say things about it. <laughs> I just had to say Come it. On, I just dog. had to say it. I had to say it. Shout out to her though, man. But it's like Yeah. I, I still like her, but I'm off the I'm off the uh the uh stand wagon now. Well yeah, what it was, the whole uh between her and Caitlin Clark, it mm-hmm. was like low key. I'm not going to necessarily say a beef, but the fans were kind of split, and the fans yeah. made it bigger than what it, yeah, it was. Yeah, because it, it's funny, because I never she, said anything bad about Caitlin Clark. I always just bigged up Angel Reese, yeah. and everybody took that as, as me. You, yep, yeah, that's a fact. And, that's a fact. Yeah, so. That's I, a fact. Yeah, you, you, you hit it on the head right there. But yeah, uh, with, with that, though, I never picked. I never chose size. Mm-hmm. I was always in All right, I like Caitlin Clark. I like Angel Reese. Mm-hmm. I don't hate Caitlin Clark. I don't hate Angel Reese. Mm-hmm. I don't care who win what. I don't care who do what because mm-hmm. they they not my Cup fa- of tea. favorites. Yeah. yeah. So it's like once she said the thing about the uh, WNBA salary. Yeah. I I stopped liking her because yeah. it, it, it's like. I feel like she's downplaying the the WNBA, mm-hmm. so I feel like they should either well, cut her, or kick off the team. Well, no, the, all of the players are complaining now, saying that uh, they want their uh, salary to increase, or it's going to be a lockout next season. I don't know if you had heard about that. Let now, me say this: You go, want me to go first? Or you go ahead, go, go first? ahead first. Now, Joe Budden, I heard him talk about that situation. And I was like, dang, he hit the nail right on the head with what that. What he said? What so he said? I, I, I'm actually curious because I want to let you go to see if y'all both hit the nail on the head. So check it out, right? Talk about they it. They have been in the, the red since season one. You hitting it. <laughs> since season one. Yeah. The NBA players, yeah. they the WNBA gets paid from the NBA players. Mm. So it's like y'all can't even make a profit. Yeah. And, and I'm a WNBA fan. Yeah. yeah but it's yeah. like if y'all can't even turn a profit, mm-hmm. what, like, bro, the NBA has been losing money because they giving it to them. Mm. And the uh, this past season, I think the uh, ticket sales were up. I think it was like 111 per percent yeah, or something. It was a high percentage. Yeah, yeah. and they still in the red yeah, by yeah. millions. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So it's like if they do a lockout, if that was me, yeah. I would let them have the the, the lockout because yeah. I'm going to end up saving 50 million a year. <laughs> yeah, right. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, and I'm not yeah. trying to hate on them because I'm a WNBA fan. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's just like if y'all not turning a profit. Yeah. 
That's what that you said a lot of what Joe Budden said. He basically said, uh, all of this time, the WNBA has been losing money. Now one season yeah. they gain a dollar. Yeah. And they said the moment that there's an increase and y'all still losing money, but there's an increase, y'all talking about y'all want more pay. How that's supposed to work? Yeah. yeah so he was basically no saying, yo, Caitlin Clark came and everything, you know, went up. Juju is coming. Mm -hmm. Things are going to go up again. That's a fact. And he's saying, maybe y'all will be out of the red. And then, they still ain't going to be out there. But, uh, I mean, just to his point, you know, yeah. it ain't about uh, yeah. yes or no. It's about then maybe we can start having a discussion. But until we get out of the red, y'all can't be saying that y'all expecting to be paid more. Yeah, it, it don't, it, it dog, it don't make, you losing money. Mm -hmm. Your company is losing money. Mm -hmm. You want to raise. That's the dumbest thing in the world. Dumbest. That's, and, to Shaq talking about lower lowering the uh, goal, mm -hmm. I don't think that that would help it because I think it it it'll be, I want to say fake, like like the uh, slam ball league. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was a good idea, mm -hmm. but when you watch it, it, just like it just fake bat basketball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's why should, I ain't last so but so long. That's a fact. I think they should should leave the the the, the rim the Where same height because mm -hmm. I'm sure in the next five years. We gonna have at least one girl that's coming down there throwing that thing down. Mm. I ain't talking about. I'm. I, I'm not talking about Jordan Duncan, but maybe yeah, yeah. Iverson or Derek Fisher. You know something. Yeah. But well, yeah. Iverson had ups at one point. I would say Derek Fisher. Derek Fisher. Yeah. But I, Iverson, once he got to the NBA, though, it seemed like his ups went away. At some point, did you? Because you have, do you ever seen his college dunks? And yeah, uh, I saw. Yeah, a couple his of them, high yeah. school, college, and uh, yeah. his first like uh, two or three seasons in the NBA, and then after that, all he could have do was just a regular dunk. That's it. And I was like, what happened? Did they up the rim or somewhere? Practice. <laughs> there you go. He said them weights is too heavy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Shout out to Andrew Risto, man. Not for. Did you ever see the uh, top uh, WNBA dunks? I probably did, but I'm not. I think okay. I did. Okay, yeah. Because they had one with Candace Parker in the dunk contest. No, I don't think I, I don't think. Uh, she, not the one I saw. She had going for, for, for a dunk like this. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> 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 like she was running like that. Gotcha. And jumped up. And yeah, she uh won, by the way. Gotcha. She was, was, was the only girl against boys and won. And that was the dunk that did it. Dang. Shout out to uh, Candace uh, Parker, though. She talking about coming back. Well, she not talking about coming back. She said something about something. And then one of her old teammates was like, man, fuck all that talking. You coming back nah. or not? She, she uh, was my favorite player at one point, but mm -hmm. then she, she started talking. <laughs> I'm dead serious. She started what was her talking. position? Uh, I'm not sure if it was power forward or center, but she she was down. Yeah, down I thought low, so. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. like uh big girls like that. I ain't thought about it. Too I ain't wanted to say big We're, man, but no. big man girls. Uh, I, I don't. Right I, now, let me say this. Right. Mm -hmm. My my favorite college player is a big. I mean, my 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 favorite WNBA player was is a big. Yeah. My favorite college player is a point guard. Second favorite is a center. Well, point center. So. Take them apples. That's all I got to say. Shout out to um, Angel Reese, though, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm still rooting for you, but it ain't going to be as open as it was. Really. I ain't really now it's going to be like, all right, well, if, if CC show up, you know, I might pull out my little CC flag. <laughs> God, no, you a flip flop. Oh, yeah, man. God. Damn. I'm trying to help build the sport, though. Shout out to Angel Reese, though, man. Shout out to Shaq, too. I, I see nothing wrong with what Shaq was saying. He was calling it like he saw it. That's a fact. Hey, how you think you see him in the shorts when you come? <laughs> Shaq sick, though. Okay. <laughs> yeah, trip, man. Yo, Shaq don't uh, waste no time. You remember when the Home Depot chick went viral? Shaq went to Home Depot. <laughs> <laughs> he don't play Shaq no games. Shaq got problems, man. Is Shaq married? No, he uh, was, but they got got a divorce because yeah. he was cheating. <laughs> okay, okay. Shout out to Shaq, man. You know Shaq was with uh, hoops at one point. At yeah, one point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Enough of that. Uh, 
drop down in the comments let us know what y'all think about angel reese and shack interview and what y'all think the uh what else did we talk about that's it nah, she said the wnb lowered up the, the room yeah. put put on them little shorts she had on that while <laughs> all right all right